Three people then. Well, Afi, snap everything before you eat. How will you do it? Hmm? How will you do it? Welcome again, my beautiful people. Welcome again. Alright, I was just talking to a friend in Canada. Jason, big up yourself. Um, he asked me how to do curry chicken in one of these um, Instapot because um, the current location that he is residing in, he not really purchase a stove as yet, but he have a Instapot. So, he needed a few um, directions or little insights on how to do um, chicken in a this thing because, as I said, this is next to a pressure cooker, so if you don't know what you do, the meat or dissolve or go straight to pieces. See, so um, I have cooked chicken in this before, but the, 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 the main aim is, guys, timing. Seeing because as I said, these things cook um, things really fast. Um, funny story about this thing. <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but I didn't do any recording last night. Um, I had some friends over yesterday, and not even yesterday, we went to an event yesterday, and the event ends around some minutes after 12 last night, and everybody hungry including yours truly and me know things in my fridge can come home come eat you know people but i had um i think it was five or six of us yeah five of them me making six correct um all fingers a point pan me if you provide food for them no me can't care people come here come with them leftover food you understand Anyways, we come home last night and we stop up, we make a few stops, we laugh, we chat, and I tell you, everybody hungry, you know, but instead of we coming home to just go and do the pot, do the cooking and everything, we stop on a high ground. You see, by the time we reach home, I mean, it's now after 1, you know, 1 a.m., everybody hungry. Me, I talk about myself too, you know, guys, I don't take out myself, you know, everybody hungry. And... I find one tin mackerel and some rice and then say if you run it but make sure it part run in a 10 minutes <laughs> people hey when me stop the insta pot last night um because if, if you know about the rice cooker they have a timer on them this one eight minutes for rice it no matter the quantity of rice you put in it eight minutes on rice and i tell you say when me stop the, 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 the rice cooker there was two minutes remaining and when I take off the cover and start shear rice, I say, mm -mm, it can't shear. But honestly, the man say, shear it. Rice no have no stain. You know, so rice no stain here. Rice no scratch through it. Shear rice, they hungry. I'm hungry too, so. I shear rice here, man. People. Honestly, to God, <laughs> one of the worst rice me ever cook, especially in our rice cooker. Yeah, man. The rice cook to maybe about 90% but me I tell you say at first when we start eating everybody realize and we start laugh about it but everybody plate empty <laughs> to how hungry I bite the people and wrap up with tough rice but I say go we work with it we are get to youth Mm. So anyways, today um, I want to cook some food like some dumpling and banana right now But um, I don't have as much flour I don't have as much flour to mix So I may have to cook two times Because right now I'm hungry and it's maybe like midday and I can't bother right now to go to shop to go buy some flour So I'm going to use what I have which is maybe about we have about a pound. See, I'm gonna use what I have. And we have some chicken at all out here. 
where we go curry in a dot. Seeing in the meantime, we have our one breadfruit that's a can roast, but I do roast breadfruit day today. That require um, fire outside and the rain has been falling days upon days. So majority of the dry sticks them they're not even dry anymore. They soak water. So right now we will catch a fire. It's hard to catch. Anyways, um I try to get us some dog food, but I'm waiting to clean the chicken so that I can mix everything, get them with um leftover rice that was in the pot and everybody eat and left. Anyways, um me have a couple of finger green banana, yeah man, country life. Me already light some fire under my pot. I try to turn down to good thing me look. Alright, higher flames. A little bit of salt in my water. So what I'm gonna do now is just need some dough, make some dumping, drop in my pot with my green banana, clean up the chicken and try to deal with the dog food as well. And then I will show you mostly the curry chicken in the Instapot since that's the main topic. Seeing at the main area that so yeah, I doubt my bridging really did want to see. So I'm gonna do a video. It makes good content. I could have just throw it on this too, but we don't really like to pressure meat that much, guys, because mm -hmm. Jamaicans on a whole we like to chew the bone. I understand it might sound weird, but the, the, the sweetness were in the bone. I don't know if it's, it's from the marrow or whatever that's in the bone. When you chew bone, especially chicken but bone, people. Yeah, so we don't really like to use pressure cook on these things to cook our bone because it make it, it make it too soft. It, it, it go get like a gummy kind of feel when you pressure it. So the trick is not to pressure it too long can use these things to tenderize the meat and then you transfer it to the stove which I'm not going to do that either I'm going to do the full rundown of everything in the Instapot today so that I work with with the curry chicken stay tuned no show no I go on big up on yourself returning subscribers new subscribers click the subscribe button man it's free no I can't say nothing see so big up on yourself get some light in that place need my dough clean up this chicken and then I'll show you guys what's going on with the Instapot and the curry chicken. Big up on yourself. Everything I work out accordingly. So, um, before I start seasoning up the chicken, I'm actually going to try to skim a little bit of the um, starch that has been boiling from dumping and banana i don't know how much of you guys actually do this right but you see when your food has been boiling or cooking for a while if this thing stay in a pot and you turn off the stove and then whatever part of your food is above water and then this remaining starch dries up on it make your food look ugly people I understand. Yeah, so I always like to skim this thing out. And no matter how you skim it out, it will come back. So you just have to deal with it accordingly. So as it comes, yep. skim it out, man. Now stop skim. Yeah, and again, people. When you uh, boil dumpling and banana and yam and all these things, make sure you don't use a big enough pot. And not heat them off if you actually cook the food. You want water. So, I like when time all of my food I mean, put in my pot can submerge under the water so everything can cook thoroughly. Or everything can cook properly. Yeah. And you don't know, you can cook the food. And you don't have pot cover. So, so I'm going with some um, chicken skin on this rice. I mean, actually, still not will give the dogs as yet because more and curry this chicken first and then put a little bit of curry gravy on it and stir it around, season it in our pot and then make it cool and then we give it to them. Dogs have to eat good too, you know, they will do them work in the yard. You understand? So, anyways, we could go in pan the chicken, you know, all washed and clean. I already start adding a little bit of 
season and then I stopped because I didn't remember that I was videoing this meal so let me just set up this phone and come back so we have chicken uh, Maggie chicken Maggie all purpose this is a special blended um, season by yours truly of course this have a little jira little masala um, so season to the bone little jerk season so you see, yeah, see a uh, um, pimento seed we normally buy everything turn it on my big blender and just paint everything combine everything and then we just throw it in a one big jar so we can just add from this as I go yeah man I don't see which meat this can have up on right now yeah so that's for the dry rub um onions so we have some onions over there so um green sweet pepper as you would call it bell peppers we have a little garlic scallion chopped and people when you know they cook with scallion small you can cut it better because i don't know anybody that will ever take up a piece of scallion out of a pot put in a day mouth and eat it i've never seen that but if you chop it up like this then eat it see we have some green thyme normally i'll try to shred the leaves but green thyme is harder to, to shred the leaves dry thyme work best um irish potato and yours truly carrot so um in the meantime i'm just gonna put this thing here on let's put it on um pressure high i think this meal is gonna take about 25 to 30 minutes in this pot so let me put it at 25 put it at start so this can preheat right it's not actually going to start countdown until you put the lid on i don't know what kind of um technology them putting on this thing if the lid is not on it the timer doesn't move but it's still cooked so you still have to be careful with, with these things when you use them all right see the starch come back so you just have to deal with it accordingly see and as you can see I'm not sure how much of it you guys can see it's already starting to change color what most people would do is tip less than a quart full of vinegar whenever they're cooking something other than dumpling something with stain they will tip just a little of vinegar in this the vinegar now would have balanced back the, the, the stain like completely yeah, but if you are a foodie and you can know the taste of everything, you probably can taste that little hint of vinegar in it. So bite me in a man. I go on three round at the back of your house around this one. So bite me. Anyway, let me set up the camera and start seasoning my chicken and I'm gonna see what I go on and then we just add that to it for the insta part and show me how the thing goes. See, big up on the Stay tuned. All right, so it's about that time. All right, so you're all going now. We're going with a little chicken, guys. If this was blended, yes, I would have done the um the wet rub first, but this isn't blended, so. And we're gonna use the insta pot. So by the time this thing go through this season, I tell us that everything go combine. Believe me, the insta pot don't play. All right. So you guys can use whatever season of preference. Anything on or rather than a food, no? chicken. Feel free to use what you have or what you love. Going with the spoon. A quick stir. As I said, this meat was already um, cleaned and washed with vinegar. I've seen people use lime juice when they're cooking curry. I've tried it. I didn't even taste any difference, so I don't know why they do it. All right, so. For this one now, 
we'll go in with a few slices of this um, Carolina Reaper. I'm going with my thyme, my scallion, and my garlic. So I'm going scallion and garlic was just added. Now I could just chop or mince a few pieces of this bad boy pepper. See the heat in there, guys. Is it in a Jamaican household? In a most Caribbean, let me fix my statement. In a most Caribbean household, you see curry. If in a house when curry they cook, they probably not gonna eat none unless most um, Jamaican household. They, they, they bend the tree from the young, meaning they start to introduce their kids to pepper from an early stage. So, and again, skim this starch. Yeah, so as I'm saying, in the Caribbean, they introduce their kids to pepper from a tender age, from a young age. So. We see some small kids out here right now with some big people in the US or some other foreign country. The smaller kids can handle pepper more than those people. Right? Yeah, so that is that. Alright. This looks like it's ready to go. Only thing left to be added is a little curry. Alright, so in with the remaining of this curry because I pulled this yesterday and used some for um, curry shrimp. If you haven't seen that video, guys, it's on the channel. You can go support by watching that video. So, let me just stir this around. It smells good. You can smell that pepper. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now that's it. We'll add a little bit of um, oil to our Instapot to burn the curry. So I'm gonna bring you guys over there and show them what I'll go on shortly. I'm gonna fry two plant in too, you know. I love cook plantain and I could have cooked plantain with these dumplings but I, I prefer, I rather fry plantain. Alright, let me just get the next pack of curry. I'm going to see the man knock off bit of curry you now. I hope I'm not get that. Because they said the bags, the packaging, the packaging are so similar that you can't ever tell. See, so see what I'm going on now. There's a little bit of oil in this thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm only going with a little of this because remember, I just used maybe about three quarter of a pack on this chicken. So what I'm going to do now. I'm gonna turn down the timer on this from 25 minutes to 20 minutes, as you can see. It was at 25 minutes because I wanna add these last. Then again, I could add everything together. And um, because this thing, when it comes to reducing um, sauce and such things, this thing, it not really work that well with reducing. So I could go ahead with all of this and everything we cook on um, the Irish will actually help to make the gravy a bit thicker. So that's a great idea. 
I'm also going to go in with the onions but I will still leave my bell pepper for, or the sweet pepper for the last five minutes all right so I'm going to now pull off away nice all right I'll try to turn this off all right so now you have to press um, pressure the amount of minutes because it doesn't have a plus or a minus button so that's how you do it you have to press the the option that you need for the amount of time in minutes that you require it all right so it's hot enough it is hot all right so all you have to do right now is just in with the chicken In with the chicken There's a few pieces of garlic and such Okay, I got them Alright, so now I'm just throw this a bit Alright, so One of the main tricks With achieving a good Um Extra gravy or sauce when you use it in stuff like this. The trick is to try to use as minimum as you can or as minimal amount of water in this thing. See? Alright, so we just go leave it as it is and make it continue. Fry it up before we actually add water and close it. It is working, but as I said. The timer won't reduce until you close the lid. All right, let me just go get a towel. Because the heat start build up in that place. If I hear them say we can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen, folks. You say I'm going to want bush. Go look if you end up on the tree. And I don't know the answer with them called pity me because I want to find red hands. I heard that they pee on you, I heard they don't bite. It's their pee. Yeah, man, that me here. I grew up here in that. Man, they sit there, man. Right now, I tell you, they make a kill me. And I just came from the barber and washed my head and everything. But. People? I'm giving you guys a mix. So, all right so this is the time guys when you're um cooking curry all right this is the time when you will know if you have enough curry in your pot or it could take some more this is the place where and the time when you would add it and store it so everything still get to burn a bit in that oil you know yeah you know we're gonna throw water and then you add curry then something around belly you don't know how much other country then burn curry you know you know say most Caribbean country it's a routine to burn curry powder in oil anyways yeah, see, the curry powder kind of amplifies the color a bit, so you get that nice curry look or yellow curry color that we need. The smell, guys. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, it's not me you're calling. Alright, so now I'm just gonna add. A little water to this side, just curry down to try to get all that season from the side. And again, we're gonna try to go in with as minimum amount of water as possible. See? Mm -hmm. This must go by now. See that? This coloration we are talking about, that's what I don't like. So, let me just go back in with my spoon and try to remove 
as much as of the starch as I can. And remove me have go no instructions about water and I have skimmed so much of the water from this one that the food isn't submerged anymore. But that's alright. I remove a lot. Yeah, that's one of the main reasons why we have to cook food. We need enough water in our pan so that the food is fully submerged. Yeah. Yes, people. So we cook curry chicken. Ah, curry chicken back. Ah, curry chicken neck. Mmm. -hmm. I like curry. Let me make it fry up a little bit. Maybe like one five minutes or so before you start the cooking process. Yeah, man, with, with water and all of that. So. We're not having that bad of a day today. It started drizzling a bit, but it got overcast and now the sky seems to be clearing up again. Mm-hmm. Consent to me, wicked. Mm -mm. Anyways, when I'm about to add the water to the pot, I'll resume this video. See you big up on yourself. All right, people, so it's that time. Let's go in with our water or our broth. Look at all the chicken broth are firing. Yeah. Alright, so now this seems alright. Seems like we have a good amount of water. As you guys can see, the timer still hasn't started counting down. So. Let's put on our cover, turn this bad boy to lock, see, and give it the desired time. And this will cook really fast. Yeah, so maybe you know, probably I'll have to go stop you at 10 minutes and check on it. So, make with us watch how that will work out. In the meantime, start fry some planting because right now I get hungrier. Yep. I'm getting hungrier. I have plantains. I do. All right. Yeah, people. Planting a go and fry and come in. People, let me show you how this thing work in a mysterious one. That right now, the pressure. You know, here no sound. Well, in a radar pressure, it's working, it's doing what it does. But in order to open this, you have to release the pressure. You release the pressure by turning a little fog here. Look at this. And then you can close it back. Yeah, man. So, no sound at all. Let see how the future for them take over. Mm -hmm. Anyways, it's just. um closed fully so i'm looking for the timer to start move counting down any minute now so while that i deal with i go and fry my planting big up on yourself you know if you go and check one day for some food big up on yourself the 20 minute is finished and um it's keeping it warm as you can see there's a light flashing there uh the warmer time is eight minutes so this has been done two minutes ago but to hold me there and sweat like crazy i had to just jump in the shower and take a quick bath see i had to just jump in the shower take a quick bath and it just left barbershop people and come home and wash my head and if i had known it was gonna get this hot I would have taken my second shower then, but <laughs> we just have to take a second shower menu before the night done. Probably have to go hold the next one because I'm still in the kitchen and since we come here to heat, I already have feel it. Anyway, for the remaining rest of time, I'm not gonna use this lid. I'm gonna see if I can find 
another um, cover that fits depending on the the, the, the gravy level or the water level or the fluid level whichever term you want to use I'm gonna use that to determine if I should use my this lid or not if there's plenty of fluid of water or gravy if there's plenty in there I'm gonna use a different um, cover because this one is trapping all the moisture in and it's just falling back down in the, in the cooker so I want the gravy to actually reduce and get a, a bit of thickness so I will not use this or I can just switch it switch the valve on top to steam so that the steam can elevate from this thing all right so like we open it I'll see what we chicken look like remember me not add that as yet let me get my spoon beautiful yeah man nice look at extra this actually don't need this actually don't need any um don't need that lid anymore this is good enough guys right now the meat is just falling off the bones right now i'm so tempting right now to remove this in a pot i'm telling you guys so in with my bell peppers so i'm going Mm -hmm. So let me just start this back and give it about 5 to 10. Let me put it at 10 minutes just in case I can stop it if I want. Alright, so it's going to resume cooking in this thing. I just need the gravy to be thicker and I'm good. I'm trying not to add any cornstarch or anything to this. Right, so we could give it about five ten minutes and it's ready because the meat is already cooked. And guys, if I'm planting, I'm planting a wheat for the meat, my dumping and my banana them a wheat for this curry chicken. Now tell us it it, it cook already. I just need the gravy to be a little bit thicker and then good that's why I added the Irish and the carrots from early because I need them to dissolve to give the gravy a bit of base you know but that didn't seem to work just imagine if I had had them um, added them to the, the, the thing now I like how this thing actually cook things. It cooks it and it keeps it in form. I like that. Guys, wash my head. Just be it. It's terrible. Yeah, but no complaints. No complaint. How God works. Yeah, man. So, so me have some nice papaya. I'm going to ripe and thing right behind me. Anyways, I'll get this on five or ten minutes. And then check back in, see? Yes, that is it, people. So, I'll just stop that. Get my spoon. Yes, people, see? As long as this is the gravy is starting to stick to the spoon, I'm fine with it. And the light in, in here, now give this no justice, people. So, let me see if I can arrange this to go on a better preview. Alright, people. So, I practically have this outdoors right now to get some proper lighting. See? Nice. Everything is cooked soft meat practically 
fall from the bone the gravy could have been a little bit thicker but I have to work with it right now because I don't want to lose all of my meat in a gravy so right now I actually can't go to the pot guys because <laughs> This is just to show you guys what's going on. Risky, but it is what it is. Seeing so, I'm actually going to share a plate of food right now. i mash up some of this curry chicken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People, the smell from this cheese. This one, the rice right now, because way if I meat actually fall off the bone, but that's okay. <laughs> 